come back, Forester Dragons. We're going to be learning about weaving with the warp and the weft and the over and under procedure. We're going to be creating a bed quilt. And then you're going to draw your bed and you dreaming of anything you want. It can be your favorite video game. It can be for me. It was resting on the beach. So whatever you want around it, you're going to create your room. And we are going to learn about the illusion of depth. So the illusion of depth is when something looks far away. So in this case, the dream and the window and this um, chest of drawers are farther away. They look like they're not on the edge. The reason for that is things that touch the bottom of the paper should always be bigger than things that are higher in the paper. So in other words, the bed is touching the bottom edge of this paper. Do you see that? So it is the biggest thing on the paper, giving us that illusion of depth, making things look far away, like this chest of drawers, okay? So we're gonna be learning about the warp and the weft. So the warp is our loom itself. The weft is what we weave through the warp, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to get some paper here. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a paper. We're gonna fold it in half. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm going to set one half to set. This half, I'm going to go ahead and color in multiple colors. This will be your bed quilt. So you think about what colors you would like to color it. Um, the one I did before was pinks and purples and blues. I think this time I'll do some bright colors. I'll, well, I'll do red and orange and maybe yellow. Okay. So I'm going to just start coloring stripes. because if I'm going and color wheel or rainbow order, that is how it should go. And then I'll do it again here. And then yellow again. So, once, and you know what, you can, if you have construction paper, you can use that instead. However you want to do this, it is fine with me. So, it's all colored. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this in half. And I am going to draw five lines. One, almost to the edge, but not quite. And I'm drawing it from the folded side. So two, three, four, and five. Okay. Then you can see my little, see my lines. Okay. Now cutting from the fold right here, I'm going to cut almost to the edge, but not all the way. Each of those lines. So 
when I open it up, it's going to look like this. Okay. Now with the other half that I left just white, and you don't have to leave it white, you could color it, but not in the same colors as, as uh, you put on the warp. I'm going to leave it white so it really stands out. And I am just going to cut horizontally, long ways. Okay. I'm going to cut off long strips. I wouldn't make them too thin because then it will take you forever. But I also wouldn't make them too thick either. So I can make them just right. Okay. So I have my strips. Now I'm ready to weave my weft into my warp. So you're always going to be going the opposite. So if I start right here under, see that? And then over, under, over, under, over. So let me show you. It looks like this. So I went under this part, over this one, under, over, under. Then my next strip has to be the opposite. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, and under. Okay, and push it over so it's all the way next to the next one. So see how this one was under and this one's over. They're always the opposite. Now I'm going to go opposite again. So under, over, under, over, under, and push it over. So I was under, over, under. And then again, now I'm over again. So over, under, over, under, over. And push it over. Okay, you keep doing the opposite. So that one was over, this one is under. Under, over, under. Over, under, all the way to the edge. And I just keep going. Okay, and I have room for maybe one more. So it's all complete. I would recommend any um, edges hanging out. You put a little dot of glue to keep it in place. So on this end and on this end, I'm going to put a little dot of glue. you had fun learning how to weave and about the warp and the weft and next week we will do step two which is gluing this on our other papers to start our bed and dream okay see you next time forester dragons bye bye